The machine I'm currently on is a server sitting in AWS and it is absolutely nothing in the way of threat protection outside of that which is native to Windows. To demonstrate, let's go to iCar and download their malware test file. As can be seen, Windows doesn't allow the download and tells us the file was infected. We don't want it to ever get this far though. We want to stop such a threat at its source as opposed to ever allowing it onto our machine in the first place. On this machine, we do however have a Netscope client installed. And when enabled, we can see that it has been configured to steer all of our web traffic to our cloud tenant for inspection. This is important, as while most legacy secure web gateways offer some level of threat protection, this is usually done by way of on-site appliances and data centers. Therefore, our traffic in this instance would have to be on the company network before the protection was applied. When it comes to remote workers and cloud infrastructure, this can be problematic. But as Netscope's tenant is in the cloud, we have protection no matter where we are located and even if we are off the company network. There are no policies applied yet within this tenant. So here we want to log into the Netscope cloud tenant directly. As always, since it is a public facing cloud portal, we want to have extra security such as MFA provided by Okta applied to our logon. Once logged in, we choose real-time protection and we want to create a new threat protection policy. We can apply our policy to individual users or adopt a more role-based approach by choosing groups or organization units. In this instance, we're going to apply ours to an individual user. For our destination, we can granularly apply the policy to cloud app traffic or individual categories but since it is such an important policy and we want to have threat protection on all of our traffic, we're going to choose to apply it to every category there is. We can choose granular activities too, but in this case, we want all uploads and downloads to be checked for threats. I don't have any other threat protection profiles configured, so we're just going to choose the default. We can choose individual actions that are to be taken based upon severity of the threat, but we just want to block every type. I have already created a user notification template for threat detection blocks, so we choose this to better inform our users as to what is happening. Lastly, Netscope can be integrated with tools such as CrowdStrike, wherein remediation actions can be specified. However, this dev tenant does not have this configured, so we're going to leave this alone. Now, when we save it and apply our changes, the policy is synced and our end user's web traffic is now protected. Now, if we return to the iCar site that we saw previously and we attempt to download the exact same malware file, we are blocked from doing so. The Netscope cloud tenant has inspected the file in real time, it detected the malware contained therein, it blocked us and it also notified us and clearly advised as to what has just happened. The file has never reached our machine and it has therefore been stopped at source and we have not had to be on the company network for this to happen. If you wish to know more about Netscope and how it can assist your organization in today's SASE and cloud-based world, then please get in touch with us at info at And thank you for watching.